Hey everyone, welcome to Monster Review Girl uh, Official Monster Profiles, and today we're going to be looking at the Hobgoblins, a mutated subspecies of the goblins. Goblins are little demi-humans that build villages and live in places such as caves. They are obviously members of the goblin family and are demi-human type monsters. They live in caves, mountainous regions, human settlements, etc. They're pretty simple, little ill-tempered, they'll eat just about anything. It's a goblin. I'm not really sure what to tell you. <laughs> they, uh, they may look like kids, but that's about as big as they get. Um, unbefitting their tiny bodies, they are hideously strong. Um, able to wield enormous weapons with ease. They're even a little bit clever. However, they're pretty childish and of a foolish, simple side. They like mischief, and that's what they do with their brain power. They form groups composed of all goblins, or with a hobgoblin leader, and basically mu wander around mugging people. If it's a guy, they'll drag him back to their dwelling and make him a husband. Not all goblins are dangerous this way, and there are ones who are trying to get along better with humans. There are even goblin merchants who come to human villages selling ores and crafts from their villages. But of course, they are still goblins. If they spot a man who strikes their fancy, they're going to make him their husband one way or the other. However, aside from when they, other from when they are committing mischief, they are quite sociable and talkative, so an extremely large number of goblins are merchants. When you're doing business with them, um, try to be a girl if you want to get paid in actual money. Now... We're talking today about the subspecies, the hobgoblin. The hobgoblin is basically your average goblin, just a bit dimmer in the wits and way bigger in the bust. They are very sort of... So, for some reason, goblins put... For them, uh, the larger the bust, the better. For... Reasons? Yeah, I'm not honestly sure why there, and goblins aren't really sure either. Like, well, nobody who's talked to goblins is really sure. Um, yeah. Aside from the freakish strength, they're pretty much... They're inferior to all the other goblins, but are still put in a lead role because... Boobs. Basically, that's it. Boobs. And, um, now their inspiration monster, when I looked the, when I looked up hobgoblins, I got the creatures from Dungeons and Dragons. They are a, of course, a goblinoid, but they are human-sized, very intelligent, um, very sort of organized, warlike, um, they're very strategic thinkers, um, forming into legions and then sort of organizing themselves in very sort of militaristic groupings. Um, they're good at taming beasts, um, long history of training animals, oxen, horses, ravens, wolves, sometimes even wargs. Uh, a couple tribes have even tamed carnivorous apes. They adore conquering. That's basically all they do with their free time. And they belong to, they worship Maglubiet, I just butchered that, the Mighty One, the Greater God of Goblins. As terrifying as this figure is, they don't fear death, believing that when they die in battle, their spirits join the honored ranks of the God's army on the plain of Acheron. And that's basically hobgoblins in a nutshell, especially when compared to D&D. Now, there's not a lot here to them, but again, they are pretty... 
They're a simple monster, so there's not a whole heck of a lot going on. I'm sorry, this video was so short. Uh, next time, we're going to be talking about the Reptile Kingdom's geography and how it, again, operates on TARDIS logic. This has been Monster Review Girl. Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Um, down in the description, there's going to be a link for my Patreon and a Discord server where you guys can talk to me about the channel and what you guys think. Um, after talking about the Reptile Kingdom, we're going to start in on the monsters from the Monster Hunter World uh, playthrough I've been doing. Um, again, this has been Monster Review Girl uh, signing off.